Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the second swing golf back here in the tour van with Mr. Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter from our Columbia store. Today we've got a head to head, the newest maybe player's distance iron from Mizuno, Mizuno Pro 245, mm -hmm. testing against the previous generation, Mizuno Pro 225. So we just filmed the 243 versus 223. There's a lot of numbers here, bear with me. Um, we saw some differences with those two. Yes. Um, initially, we've, I know you've, off camera, we looked at both irons, not seeing a whole lot in differences between these two, right? Yeah, um, it might be one of those instances where Mizuno went, this formula works, let's keep going with it. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, they put the uh, the script Mizuno Pro in a new spot. That's something different. It is, and we'll see what uh, it looks like afterwards. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'm, in our case, the the numbers are what matter exactly. um, in the testing here. Exactly. So. Um, I will, you know, the, the 245 is 30 degrees for the seven iron. I believe that was the same for the last one too. So, um, you know, we are going to get a little bit more distance than mm -hmm. say a player's iron typically. Yeah. But, um, what I like about this iron is Mizuno makes it still, it has kind of a blade look to it and it still has a soft feel Oh yeah. than really uh, any others in that category. If you're looking for distance and you want something that looks like a blade, this will do that for you. This mm -hmm. will give you everything you're looking for because you, there's, there's no screw here to say that, you know, there's, there's a way to get in there. Right. Um, and so it looks very much like a sort of an enlarged blade. Yeah. All right. And yeah, there's not a whole lot of differences in the aesthetics, uh, between the, the 225 and the, yep. and the 245. Yeah, so, so. The, the big technical difference, the Mizuno Pro 245 has 47 grams of tungsten suspended in the 2 iron through 7 iron, which gives it a little bit more pop, a little more launch um, than the previous generation, according to my notes here from Mizuno. So um, without further ado, let's start hitting. We got, is that the 225 or 245? 225. 225 to start with. Okay. Very straight golf shot. Thank you. That speed's going back up. Although I think both of those last two were 174 carry, 183 total. I think both hmm. of them were. That might work a little tiny bit left. Oh yeah, they creep bit, over there. A little bit left. Wow. I say that should be pretty good. It's going to be a little to the right. How's that club feel here? I mean, it's, it we, just, we were just testing players' cavities before this. Yeah. So it probably feels a little firmer than It's a little firmer, nose, but. but it's not, you know, the auditory response is good. It's not clicky. Yeah. It's not, you know, tingy. It's, it's none of those right. things. It feels good. It's, it's a, it's responsive. I can tell where it's coming off the club face. And yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just a little more forgiving than the other guys and a little faster. Okay. Let's see where we're at here. Probably got plenty of shots, right? Nah, yeah. get a couple more. Only seven. All right. I don't even know what. That's nine. Is it? Yep. Give me one more. All right, one more. I don't even know what we're going to take out from there, though. Did I hit the screen a little more powerfully? Probably not that one. Probably won't take that. Well, we might take that one out. I don't know. That hung. Eight shots with the Mizuno Pro 225. Um, we kept the spin around 5,000. Which is pretty good for um, what this club is designed to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's going to be, you know, obviously lower spinning than than most. It's got lower loft. Um, what do you think? What do you think about that? What do you think of these numbers up on the screen? I mean, it's it's solid. It's really good. Good smash factor, good ball speeds. Um, you know, carry yardage, probably about what I would expect for okay. this golf club over what, what I play. Yeah. Um, spins a little bit lower. I'm normally about 400 RPM higher than that. 
Um, landing angle is still good, so there's no issues there. Right. Um, this is a golf club that a good player that needs a little more distance and wants a little bit more forgiveness can go all the way through the bag or can blend you know, top end and, yeah, and go right. to something a little more challenging at the bottom. Yeah, I think uh, this type of iron is a really popular one for players that, like you said, at the top of the bag can get that extra jolt of distance and forgiveness. Or like you said, I mean, players that want kind of a little bit of that through the whole bag and still want a soft feel, certainly. Um, okay, so now we're gonna grab the Mizuno Pro 245. And uh, before we even do anything else, I would like you to put that club down and sort of give me uh, some feedback on how that thing looks. What do you got? Is there any differences? Are you seeing none? I think that's kind of what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling here. I mean, I've got a fairly sensitive eye to these things. Yeah, if you haven't uh, seen enough of Kevin on the channel, you know he's got a pretty sensitive eye to how the clubs look, so. I'm really not seeing much in here, man. There's, really? There's just not a huge, there's not a huge difference in here. Um, yeah, there's not a lot difference there. That is, that's correct. Look at that, you even gained some club speed there a little Woo. bit. A little to the toe side. One foot of curve on that. It's kind of stupid. Ah, caught it thin. That was a little thin, huh? Got it thin. Well, other than that shot, I mean, feel two four five versus two two five. Two four five feels a little better. Does it? Okay. Yep. okay. I think it actually sounds a little like more muted. From yeah, here. yeah. Ooh, that one's hit good. Pulled maybe a little. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, that was really good. Look at that ball. Look at that Jeez. ball. Jeez. All right, that's what? Two, four, six, eight. 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 There's at least one that we'll remove, but a couple more here. Trying to hit the dead straight ball for you. You're getting really close. I mean. All right. Oh, I thought that was going to turn just a tiny bit. Mm. So for sure, okay. this one. Yep, that was that was the thin guy. I'll bring up the map so we can kind of get a more. So we took out, I guess, one of your. I mean, really, you only had one swing that was worth removing from the set. The rest are kind yeah. of. Yeah. Rest uh, was pretty good. They're all good in there. Yeah. So um, there's some differences here, Mr. Kraft, in these two irons. What do you? There uh, are. What um, do you? I mean, I think the big one is going to be the spin here. That's the big difference between yeah. the two, right? And that's a that's. Kind of a good difference. Again, we talked about it with the with the uh, two four three. The having a little more spin with ball speed is is a good thing. Yeah. Um, I'm a little surprised that we didn't see a little more ball speed. Maybe. Sure. Um, I mean, pretty equal, honestly. I'm. I wouldn't say that it was. It was no, a, I, I don't a big think there's. But if I mean, there there's not a loss, right? It's it's yeah. it. They're both fast. Yes. They're both, yes. um, they have that, you know, the forged chromoly that's going to yeah. deliver some explosiveness for sure. But um, I do think, I, I, I'm i going to be curious to see how this plays out in fittings for you, for our team. Yeah. How, if the 245 appears to be a more higher spinning iron, because I know our fitters are asking for more spin yes. from irons. Yes, absolutely. You know? we, we absolutely are. Yeah. Because the, the trend has been for generations now, lower spin, lower spin, lower spin, lower spin. Well, that's great if you hit it to the moon. If you don't, then we're not creating good enough landing angle. And, you know, I don't feel good about putting into somebody into a golf club that flies farther for them, but rolls over the back of every green, right? Yeah. That's, that's not helping them. So, you know, we're still in a player's club here, but players with distance, players with distance with spin, 
is a great thing. Yeah. So I have, I, I'm actually very excited to see the average spin at 50, almost 5,400. Cause that's what I get off of mine. Yeah. Right. So that, that works for me. Yeah. I I'm think that's pleased with that. I mean, clearly I mean, both clubs are going to give some, some distance and forgiveness. That's, that's how these clubs are designed. Yeah. Um, but to see that added spin, it seems like we saw the trend with the two, four, three, mm -hmm. a little bit more spin. Yep. Seems like that might be the, the, I guess the, the trend or yeah. the, uh, the mission statement for the Mizuno pro 24 series is just a little bit more spin. And I know our high fitters at second swing are going to be very pumped about that. Yes. And they're going to be really good in fittings because of that. Absolutely. I know every time they, so often you have the player that doesn't spin it enough and you're trying to find whichever iron spins the most is probably the one that is end up going to be the best yeah. fit. Mizuno's got a couple good contenders now because they've increased their spin rates. Yeah. Anytime you get that player distance or game improvement iron that, that, and you've got that player that doesn't create very much spin, you know, there's just always, there's always that worry of, yeah. you know, how are we going to make this work? Are we right. going to have to adjust lofts? What are we going to, what are we going to be able to do here? And this gives us a new, a new option. Yeah, you know, that's, totally. It's very solid. Yeah. So very solid. Conclusion, oh, great. Mizuno oh, Pro 225, I mean, that's a really good dispersion. Really good numbers yeah. from the 225. Yeah. Fantastic club. There's going to yeah. be used sets in our inventory that um, are available for purchase. The 245, if you need a little bit more height, more spin, and um, need to get that ball a little bit higher, I mean, it's going to have all the benefits of the 225, but just a little bit higher and more controllable. I mean, yeah. that's what's yeah. wrong with that. So get your fitting, schedule the fitting at Second Swing with someone like Kevin in the tour van for the Mizuno Pro 245, excuse me, or... Uh, you can also do a use fitting for the two two five sets. Um, you got all kinds of options to get dialed in for one of these Mizuno iron sets. So, yeah. Kevin, thank you for the testing and sure. the data and feedback. Uh, fantastic stuff here. Yeah, good stuff.